Shadows In this module, let us learn about shadows. Take an opaque object and hold it in the sunlight slightly above the ground and we can see the dark patch formed by the object on the ground and the dark patch is said to be the shadow of the object. We can find shadows only in the presence of light and opaque objects. We cannot see shadows in complete dark. Let us do an activity to understand more about the shadows. In the evening, go out in an open ground with few friends. Take a torch and a large sheet of cardboard with you. Hold the torch close to the ground and shine it upwards so that its light falls on your friend's face. You now have a source of light that is falling on an opaque object. If there were no trees, buildings or any other object behind your friend, you cannot see the shadow of your friend's head because the light from the torch is not able to pass through his body to the other side. Now, ask another friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your friend's face. Now you can see the shadow on the cardboard sheet. Thus, the shadow can be seen only on a screen. The ground, walls of a room, a building or other such surfaces act as a screen for the shadows you observe in everyday life. Shadows give us some information about shapes of objects. Sometimes, shadows can also mislead us about the shape of the object. Now let us learn about the various factors affecting the formation of shadows. The size, shape and position of the shadows depends on the angle of the light and height of the objects. Hence, we can find the variation in the size and shape of the shadows of the same object formed at different times like morning, afternoon and evening. The variation is due to the change in the angle of the sun, which is a source of light. The color of the shadow does not depend on the color of the object. For example, two balls of same size with different colors, red and blue respectively, will give the shadow of same size and color.